Good evening, I'm Keith Cates. And I'm Stacey Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. In just the last hour, a powerful protest fired back at For Florida's newly proposed gun laws. Families who have lost loved ones to gun violence gathered in St. Petersburg. And Justin Shecker joins us live from St. Pete City Hall to tell us about it. Justin. Keith and Stacy, good evening to you both. Governor Ron DeSantis says gun owners shouldn't need a permission slip from the government to protect their Second Amendment rights. The activists who gather here outside St. Pete City Hall say permitless carry and lowering the age to purchase a long gun will make this state less safe. He has wings like an angel because he's our angel. The parents of Parkland student Joaquin Oliver brought their Save Lives school bus to St. Pete for this protest against proposed gun legislation in Tallahassee. Since we lost Joaquin, we decided to move forward with action. Organizers say these body bags on the steps of City Hall represent victims of gun violence. I want to save your kid and your loved one's life so they come home alive instead of in a ba body bag. Five years after the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, Republican lawmakers are looking to lower the age to purchase rifles and long guns from 21 to 18. I think it's it's disrespectful for us as a families. These organizations working to end gun violence oppose the bills in the Florida House and Senate that would allow the concealed carry of guns without a permit. We are taking a monumental step towards codifying our Second Amendment rights. That is what we're focused on in bringing back those God-given constitutionally upheld rights to defend ourselves. Gail Schwartz's nephew Alex Schachter was one of the 14 students killed in the Parkland shooting. It's scary. We're going to have more shootings. We're going to have more Floridians settling disputes in grocery stores and movie theaters and restaurants with gunfire. And federal law prohibits the sale of handguns to people under 21 years old. Joaquin Oliver's mom tells me they plan to take their school bus to both Tallahassee and Washington, D.C. Stacy. So, Justin, you mentioned that there are permitless carry bills in both the Florida House and Senate. But what about that proposal to lower the age to purchase a gun from 21 to 18? Well, Stacey, right now there's only a bill filed in the Florida House to make that change. And just yesterday, the Republican president of the Florida Senate said she does not support this proposal uh, to lower the minimum age to purchase a long gun or a rifle. Stacy, All right, Justin Shecker live for us in St. Petersburg. Thank you.